For those of you who are taking pieces of seminar, I wanted to give a summary of week 11. And um, also to remind everyone that the method section is going to be due next week, week 12, April 17th, 2019. So make sure that uh, if you haven't already to check out uh, the method section here where you'll find a video and a link to a website where you'll find more information about the method section. A lot of this is review. We talked about the method section in class uh, some weeks ago uh, on March 4th, in fact. And here is the presentation along with the classroom discussion uh, if you need to refer back to that. I added this video off to the right that describes the method section, making sure that you divide up your uh, section into three different subsections, participants, instruments, and procedures, and data analysis. So take a look at this video as well. This will provide more detail into what to consider. And as always, I recommend that you're adding information as you go along, as you collect the data, that you go in and add information to your methods section. And uh, this will allow me also to be able to provide feedback and uh, be able to look at that and give you uh, some uh, suggestions as you develop and finish uh, the method section. I would suggest for next Monday or before next, ne next Monday that you finish with the participant section and the instrument section so that next week we can focus mainly on the research design. On Monday, we're going to have a whole group session. It's going to be required for everyone to attend. We're going to talk about the data analysis, and uh, there uh, you'll get some uh, information and I think some tips as to what to include in this third section in your methods section. Next week also, I'm going to be clearing my schedule, so feel free to contact me if you want to schedule any tutoring sessions. It's going to be a voluntary since uh, the, your attendance will be based uh, on, on the whole group session on Monday. Uh, the, our whole group discussion on Monday will be from 10 to 12. So this week, week 11, we're uh, basically finishing our data collection. And so it's going to be more of the same, making sure that we're going to triangulate the information. We need to have information from our observations. We need uh, information from uh, our teacher interviews, perhaps interviews with the students, focus groups, perhaps even interviews with uh, ad administrators. And uh, also make sure that you include some sort of document analysis, whether it comes from the students, homework perhaps, it could be a lesson plan, a scheme of work from the school. It might be any policies that are uh, written out, any a, a mission statement, a vision statement. These are all examples of de different types of document analysis that you might find useful. So I would de definitely double check all of your data to make sure that you're triangulating information, that you're getting information from different perspectives. Um, also, and I wanted to provide uh, some tips. When you're transcribing, a lot of times uh, students will be asking if they need to transcribe all of the uh, interview, for example. Basically, you need to transcribe information, questions and answers that you obtain that directly relate to your research question. So perhaps it's not necessary to trans, uh, transcribe the entire interview. But certainly, where you find some really interesting information, you're going to be transcribing that. And this will make more sense next week when we talk about data analysis and coding and what this will look like from your transcriptions. Same way with your observations. You're going to be transcribing primarily the main information that you think is relevant to your research questions. And that's also relevant to your literature review, primarily the keywords or key concepts that support your literature review. And so, what else we have? Um, make sure that uh, you're reviewing the literature. I think we're uh, getting to a point now where, if you haven't already, you need to be cleaning up your literature review, making changes based on the feedback that I provided everyone uh, in week five. I think now is a good time also to be asking questions if you have any uh, issues or uh, are not sure or want me to review your literature review. I, I would like to do that face to face. Just let me know. Um, but go ahead and make those changes if you haven't already uh, to basically finish the literature review. 
I would definitely suggest you do that uh, now and not later because uh, at this point you're going to be spending most of your time with the data analysis and then the uh, reporting of your findings uh, as we get into May and uh, we get closer to the, the due date of I believe, I believe May 24th is going to be a, a target date for finishing the first draft, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so I'll uh, double check that, but I believe it's uh, May 24th is going to be a, a due date. So make sure that you're making the final changes to your literature review and you're uh, leaving questions or asking me about your literature review if you have any questions about it. What else? Um, also, I wanted to mention that at this point, as you're collecting the data and you're finishing collecting uh, the data for, for answering your research questions, sometimes you'll find it necessary to slightly modify your research questions. So if you find that that is going to be the case, I think we need to, uh, I would like to discuss that with you, that we make that decision together to make sure that you're making uh, the most uh, appropriate choices based on the data that you have. And at the end of the day, uh, you're basically answering your research question. So we want to make sure that both your findings and, of course, your question align. And uh, more broadly, both of those align with your literature review. So do make sure that they do align and uh, do consider, if you need to, uh, to slightly modify your research questions if, if you find that that is uh, necessary. All right, so basically that's uh, what I wanted to cover today uh, for week 11. Again, this has been a summary of week 11. This is going to be our last week. Uh, next week during Holy Week, I uh, don't typically anticipate anyone collecting a whole lot of information during that week simply because many of the schools are closing down. They're shutting down for the holidays. But if uh, you are able to get uh, some uh, data collected next week, that's great. Go for it. Um, but uh, do your best to finish up for the bulk of your data collection for this week, week 11. If anybody has any questions, feel free to leave comments in your Google Docs. Send me an email via, via Google Classroom or, of course, come to my office and we can talk about it face-to-face -face in our training sessions.